hey, good morning. I'm totally just having this moment of just like, well, why do we lose interest in things? And is it a good thing or a bad thing? So for me, I find I lose interest in things like hardcore. Do like I do, a, I love astrology and tarot and stuff, but I'm finding lately that like, man, like as I'm looking back, it's like, man, it like lost its luster a while ago. Like I've still been doing it because I love the benefits that come from it, right? You know, but the shine's gone. Like, what do we do with things once the shine is gone? Well, we discard them, we transmute them, we, you know, turn them into something else, or we change them out altogether. I feel like, for me, I have to just change things up, at least. Otherwise, you know, I'm, I tend to find that I tend to cause drama when there is no drama because, well, shoot, life becomes super boring. And everybody, I find that everybody does this on a subconscious level as well. It's not just, it's isolated to, oh, well, CJ's the one doing it. Ha ha, see, he admitted it. You know what I mean? Yes, I openly admit it. I will own my crap that, like, subconsciously, I do this. Like, but you know how I seen it in myself? I seen it in everybody else and pointed it out to myself and was trying to point it out to everybody else. <laughs> throw, you wanna piss somebody off, man? Throw shit, throw their own shit in their face. That'll piss them off. That is the honest to God truth right there. That's the only thing that comes from that. Sorry, that got really loud. Um, sorry about that. God, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful view. Oh my gosh. I have like a really, really gorgeous view looking out the windows. There's, I'm at my parents' place still. I've literally, gosh man, I've so gotta go. It's so toxic here for me. Like the connection is toxic in itself. But the sacrifices we make for the people we love, right? You know, but Seriously, so I find that we all do this. We all, on a subconscious level, we totally make things happen out of boredom, you know, the, out of the lack of spice for life. So how do we keep the shine in life, man? How do we keep life going? Well, we change things up, we move from one glory to another, just like our father does. That's the truth of it. That's how we keep it going. But we, because we had that experience, that past experience that we're moving from, that we're transmuting, that we're transitioning from, because we had that experience, it forever changes us. We adopt certain things. We take things out of that with us into the next cycle, into the next thing. Me, the next stop is yogas, doing the yogas, man. I don't know, I, I remained indecisive for so long about, you know, kundalini yoga versus kriya yoga, but I think yogas are just uniting, it's union, so it doesn't matter which type, you know, adopt them all over time, just don't get in a hurry and, you know, take your time and learn all you can, you know what I mean, right? But, so like, now astrology and tarot and my past Christian experience and you know my experience just in life in general life changes us but like I see it it's an evolution man just like everything else in this world but gosh how do we keep that luster for life without destroying things like fire is creative and destructive and shoot man you have to destroy to create is control burns spiritual fire is a very very fickle thing man it 
can get out of control very fast. When I was a kid, we liked to play with fire. Almost burned down an apartment complex, cars, all kinds of crap, man. Burned down a field. Fire was so, so cool when I was a kid. But, it's learning to do controlled burns, basically. What needs to be burnt, what needs to go, so that new can come in its place. Man, I think prayer is a very, very important part of this and knowing what to burn, knowing what, using your intuitive abilities and saying, yes, this needs to go, this needs to go, this can go, and this can stay, this can stay, this can go. You know what I mean? Cleaning out your closet. That's basically what life is right there, man. It's a cycle of all that. Gathering, and then figuring out what needs to go into the next cycle, and what needs to stay. Fire is fire. It's non... Ah. Uh, oh. It's non-discriminative, but if we don't choose, then all of it gets destroyed. I see I've remained indecisive in all my past cycles. Well, I don't know what I want to burn, so what I do have, I want to keep, and you, know, you can't keep it all. You have to give something. There's a, an offering has to be given to the cycle, no matter, no matter what it something has to be given and it's wow wow I don't wow it's the feeling I'm sitting with right now the feeling of that just like that whole that whole statement just came with a feeling that man that was exhilarating emotion is life it's also destruction too though so you know we have to be aware of everything we're doing, seriously. Gosh, here I am just promoting Circle K and everybody, Jesus. Oh, man. Well, I've actually got to go get a shower and get to work. You guys have a great day. Don't work too hard, hopefully. Shoot. It's Saturday. Shabbat Shalom, yo. Like, man. Saturn's day. Saturnalia's day. Is it that Saturn, in its positive, because it's just dual, dual, duality again, it's the law of correspondence, so if everything is just polarity, then Saturn, everybody says, oh, that's the devil.